So, after Nepal, we went over to Dhaka, which is the capital of Bangladesh. Tell ya. Yes. What do you know about Bangladesh? I know that nobody's been there before. We're the first people to travel to Bangladesh. Never go to Bangladesh. You know anything about Bangladesh? We're making world history. Yeah. That's what I know. This is bigger than stepping on the moon. population of 160 million people. The capital city is 14.5 million. It is chaotic and messy and wow, if you want some culture shock, I strongly suggest you head right into Bangladesh because that's where you're going to find it. We wanted to find something off the beaten path and researching I discovered uh, otter fishing. I've never heard of anything like that. We went to a place called Kona. What's really cool about the train ride down there is that because the population is so dense and massive in Bangladesh, if you hang out the window, the whole time you're watching this population just fly past you and it's just constant eye candy. That's an indication to us that this is definitely going to be a pretty unique experience. And I'm going to try to kiss one. I think they're very cute, but I hear that they're very smelly, so I hope they don't smell bad. And as soon as we arrived, there's about a bunch of naked kids who came out of their homes and they kind of looked at us funny. I do want to go. Otter fishing. Finally, somebody knew what we were talking about. So we go down this, this dirt road and find uh, this old bamboo boat. And we're probably in the most remote village I've ever been in my entire life where every single person is looking at me like I'm an alien from another planet. Apparently we're here. I don't know. It's been such an adventure so far, so let's, uh, let's see what happens.
Yuma, we just went to go enjoy some shawarmas at a place next door. And uh, I started talking to a guy behind me who ended up being a software engineer from Bangladesh. And we became friends right away and he loves what we were doing. So he decided to take us out the next day and be our kind of tour guide. Where are we at, Miguel? No idea. No idea. This caption right here is going to describe the name of the place. Okay, we've just landed ourselves at Bagrat Shorgamich Morchit, okay? It was built in the 15th century. It's an old mosque. 1422. Sorry. This was 1422. Yes. So, um, apparently in Muslim mosques, you're not allowed to show any of your legs. So they always hide, hide their legs uh, all the way down to your feet, and you're not allowed to wear shoes inside. So next, next time you hit a Muslim mosque, make sure you wear pants. So we came to this little village and met some locals. They are showing us their crocodile. We've always wanted a pet crocodile. <clears throat> We've gone on um, yeah. two crocodile uh, watching tours and haven't seen a single thing. And now we're about three feet away from a, a sleeping crocodile. And we're going to feed it a chicken right now. So, welcome to Bangladesh. Now we can smell it. Holy <laughs> sh... <laughs> oh, buddy, you were so close. So if you can, go to Bangladesh. You must go. Uh, you must, again, come in with a ton of positive energy. Come will it, knowing you're going to be watched everywhere you go, but just be comfortable with it and be comfortable in your skin. And don't leave it out from other parts of Asia just because it's not as traveled. I guarantee you'll, you'll learn some lessons and you'll have a good time there. So, I'll see you later. And now we're off to Myanmar. He's got about eight family members in here. They're uh, loving us and accepting us and, and bringing us food to enjoy. Uh, so, who's that coming out? Prawn, national fish, eggplant, horseradish infused potato. It is an incredible taste. Right out. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>